Welcome to the Warframe Open Encyclopedia, where today we're checking out the Dual Toxocyst. You can get the blueprint for the Dual Toxocyst from the Infested or Biolab in your dojo, and while it's not necessarily cheap, I wouldn't call it expensive either, it just needs some mutagen mass as well as a fully built forma. The Dual Toxocysts are a pair of Master Rank 11 semi-automatic secondary pistols that do primarily puncture damage with a little bit of impact and slash on the side. They come with almost perfect accuracy, pretty much no crit whatsoever, though they do have very high status. One thing you will probably notice with these when you first pick them up is that they kick like crazy and the fire rate is also not great. However, that's very much not a problem with these, because you see they come with a unique mechanic. Whenever you hit a headshot with them, you gain a buff called Frenzy, which gives you infinite ammo, a ton of fire rate, and it dampens the recoil. Plus, it also grants you 100% of the weapon's base damage as extra toxin. This buff lasts for 3 seconds, and you can refresh it at any time, so as long as you hit a headshot in that 3 second window, you can just keep going on and on and on. So it's kind of similar to the headshot mechanic on the Nell pistol. Now, as far as the build is concerned, I personally like this one the most, where I run 3 dual stat mods for corrosive and heat, ogre packed for a little bit of extra damage, and then anemic agility for a ton of extra fire rate. The extra fire rate is particularly good here because it adds a ton of DPS, and since you get infinite ammo with the frenzy buff, you can just fire at maximum fire rate and not have to worry about reloading at all. You also don't have to worry about the recoil you get from firing at maximum fire rate either, since that's being dampened by the frenzy buff as well. Now, as far as performance goes, it's um, serviceable, I would say. You can definitely feel the lack of crit on this one. The damage is not amazing. The status does go quite a long way here, but once you get to level 80-ish, the heavier units, like your heavy gunners, bombards, napalm, scorches, that kind of stuff, are gonna take far too many shots to take down. And it doesn't feel great, even with the infinite ammo and a ton of extra fire rate. I really want to like this weapon, and I would love to recommend it as well, but I honestly can't, unless you really dig the unique mechanic. If you think the weapon looks cool and you think you would have fun with it, of course, go for it, but other than that, no, it's just so mediocre, I think is the best way to describe it. The weapon is just mediocre, it has a cool unique mechanic, but that's about it. And I don't think I'm the only person that feels this way, because even though the weapon is actually pretty solid and the stats, aside from the crit, are not terrible, the Riven disposition on it has consistently been fairly high. And that basically means that it's not being used very much. So again, pick it up if you think the unique mechanic looks cool or you just dig the weapon in general and you think you would have fun with it, but outside of that, I can't really recommend it. I think this is a safe one to skip. And that is pretty much it for the video, so I thank you very much for watching. As always, guys, I hope you've enjoyed it and found it helpful. And I will see you some other time. Bye-bye.